All right, and we're back with another episode of Getting Technical, and this week's episode is super cool because it's not just Dan and I talking to each other. So this week, we thought we'd have Mike from Impello Biosciences here to talk about Tribus. So we here at Jax see a lot of growers that have a great deal of success when they use Jax nutrients in combination with Impello Biosciences, Tribus Microbial Inoculant. So today we thought we'd have them on to talk about Tribus and let us ask them some questions. So Mike, let's introduce yourself. All right, well, thank you, Mason. Thanks, thanks uh, to both of you guys for having me on. Uh, pleasure to be here. I really like what you guys are doing. So yeah, my name is Michael Key. I'm uh, the co-founder and the, the CEO here at Impello Biosciences. Uh, as you said, Mason, we produce uh, Tribus Original, which is a microbial inoculant, among a few other biostimulant type products. Uh, so we can get more into that as we go. But yeah, like you said, uh, we love when we see people using Jax and Tribus together because it's a pretty wicked combination. So I think we can uh, have some fun going through that today. All right. So, so Mike, how does Tribus work? You know, I, I don't need to know the secret sauce. I know there's probably some trade secrets in there and, you know, different recipes, but... Uh, but for all the folks out there that might not know, what's the science behind Tribus and you know what it does for your plants? Sure, it's a great question. So Tribus original is a combination of bacillus uh, bacteria species. And these are all plant growth promoting bacteria. So they, they can encourage plant growth beyond what you can get with just a typical fertilizer, basically by acting as a probiotic for the plant in the soil. So these bacteria, are, of course, are very small. They live on and around the root systems of plants and they produce all sorts of different metabolites like enzymes, some organic acids, and other compounds that will help the plant either uptake nutrients that you're applying, like what you'd find in jacks. Uh, they can help the plant's root system develop more fully and promote plant growth that way. And they can also help the plant uptake more water, all of which of course leads to you know bigger and more robust plant and uh, bigger growth on top of yeah, what you can get uh, you know, without using something like that. Awesome. So when it comes to, you know, adding those inoculants into your grow operation or your system that you're using, what's the best way to add Tribus to your grow? And at what point should people be mixing it in? And is there a mixing rate? Yeah, another another good question. And it's one that we have a lot of fun answering because I think the, the, the truth uh, surprises people sometimes. You know, when we're talking about bacteria, a lot of people... Uh, historically have had this idea that you can't mix a synthetic nutrient, you know, or something that's that's salt based and commercially available with anything that's alive because, you know, there's a conception that it will just, you know, the salts will kill the bacteria, which fortunately in our case is not the case at all. Um, so for ease of use, and in fact, what we do here at our research and development facility, where we use JAX for all of our, our, uh, our trials that we have going on, we're pretty lazy, but we also like to be incredibly efficient. So what we'll do is quite literally mix Tribus Original into our Jax uh, stock tanks, uh, which are, of course, very, very concentrated, and we'll inject through our dosatrons that way. So it is literally just replacing a little bit of the volume of water that we would use to dissolve the Jax salts in the first place with uh, our Tribus Original solution and going from there. And the application rates make it very easy to do that because we suggest that people use about one milliliter per gallon of nutrient solution in the final uh, final application. So if you're mixing up a stock tank, you know, to treat 500 gallons of water, you mix in half a liter of Tribus and you're good to go. Awesome. So Dan, you can just go directly into that stock tank, Mike, even though with the high concentration of that, you'll be okay with the Tribus and those yeah. microbes. That's exactly right. So Tribus and these bacillus bacteria are unique because they're spore forming. So they're extremely resilient to salt stress or pH, uh -huh. or even hot and cold temperatures. And so when you when you add them to something that's a, that's a high salt concentration like Jax, uh, they don't really care. And they don't even come out of that spore form until they find a plant root. And then they're happy you know, to grow and help the plant grow. Love it. And with it in your stock tank like that, it's almost like a continuous liquid feed too with the microbes. You're a constantly reapplying that so that's great exactly i'm smiling because i think it's a really elegant solution but it's also i mean just a, a perfect way to get a beneficial bacteria and obviously a really good nutrient solution to the plants all the time so yeah in a continuous liquid feed manner it's great application right like on. I, I think it's awesome because you're also educating dan and i just because uh you know we get asked this question all the time and you sure. know we don't want to we don't want to give the wrong answers we're always like well you know 
these guys got the 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 answers to the system, and you know we think it's like this, but we you got to ask them. So now this is good because we're connecting all the dots That's here. It. So, right. so as far as mixing Tribus in with your your concentrated solution, or just in in with your solution in general, is there anything you should watch out for when mixing in Tribus? You know, are there things that it's incompatible with? Like if like so, say we're using Jax, we're using Tribus. Can mm -hmm. we put in silica? Is that like what's anything we should look out for? Yeah, you know, again, because the bacteria are in those spore forms, they're really, really tolerant to pretty much anything you can throw at it. And in, in that uh, the concentrate tank or the stock tank, there's not too much that you can do that will cause any issues. So where we do caution people and we, we want people to just to keep an eye out is if they're using, you know, a lot of organic inputs um, that can be amino acid based products or anything with a with a readily available carbon source and a nitrogen source, which fortunately you don't find in something like Jack's. Um, you can get some bacterial growth, but again, when we're actually mixing it directly into a, a highly concentrated stock tank of a salt-based nutrient solution, that electrical conductivity in the solution itself actually inhibits the bacteria from germinating and growing. So you can mix pretty much anything with it. And again, the beauty of, of this combination is that it's really hard to screw it up. So you can mix silica in with it. You can act, you know, we do end up mixing amino acid-based products into our stock tanks occasionally. You can mix pesticides or, or other fertilizers if you need, and you almost never run into an issue. You know, it's it gets a little bit uh, more, a little bit sketchier if you're running a very dilute stock tank or just have a reservoir um, that's basically plant usable and you're aerating it and you have food source for the bacteria. That's when you can start germinating those bacterial spores and running into issues. Gotcha. Yeah. So, Mike, how often do you recommend using Tribus in your grow? You know, is it something you should be using all season long? You know, every watering? What do you think? Yeah, our um, our preference for people, of course, is to use it more often because we like introducing b bacterial spores into the growing media all the time. You know, the root zone is is a pretty hospitable place for um, bacteria, but at the same time, there's a lot of competition in there, especially out in a field. Indoors, it's not such a big deal but we like to reapply these bacteria pretty frequently, even though they're good at persisting. That being said, you know, if you're if you're lazy like us and you do end up running a continuous liquid feed sort of program, mixing it into your stock tank, you don't have to think twice about it. So that's easy. Uh, but you can also get by with running a much lower rate of Tribus if you're applying more frequently. So it's kind of like, you know, less frequent applications, we recommend using a higher dose, more frequent applications, you can run much lower concentration, just like a CLF system. Very similar to the fertilizer for exactly. application rates as well, right? You know, if you're yep. feeding every day, it can be at a much lower rate in terms of fertilizer feed as opposed to a weekly feeding regime. So. Precisely. Yeah, they really go hand in hand. So it's like, you know, a lot of the logic does carry over from some, you know, using something like Jax to, to applying something like Tribus, even though they're very different products. Awesome. Love it. Yeah. All right. Last question here, just because we get a ton of questions on this in general for our stuff. Sure. Uh, and I think I already know the answer, but I, I want to get it from you. Is that with Tribus, does it affect pH or EC at all? Ah, good question. So, yeah, again, in the stock tanks, if you haven't caught it by now, my preferred way to do it is just mixing them together. <laughs> I like that. There's no too. change at all. So Tribus in its liquid form and it's in its uh, concentrate is a, a slightly lower pH. It's around four or four and a half. Um, you know, much like uh, the, the stock tank of Jack's is a little bit lower. Yep. But by the time it's coming out of the hose end of the uh, the system and getting applied to the plants, it has very, very little change on it. You know, again, you got to think about the buffering capacity of the nutrients that you're using. So Tribus is a very, it doesn't have the capacity to change the pH very much. And the other thing that I really like about beneficial bacteria is they actually are great at both increasing and decreasing the pH right on the roots. Uh, it's one of the benefits of these plant growth promoting rhizobacteria. So if your pH does fluctuate a little bit, you really don't have too much to worry about because the bacteria will help the plant uptake all the nutrients anyways. So pretty easy. Well, awesome, Love Mike. Uh, Mike, Dan, anything else you guys want to add? Mike, I know you guys have the Trivis original, which is, you know, the most popular that I see growers sure. working with personally using, but I know you have a couple other products in that lineup too. Do you want to touch on them just briefly? Yeah, I'd be happy to. So yeah, cool. we have a, um, well, we're always working on new stuff too, and I'll come back to that. Certainly. We do have uh, we have a Tribus Grow and a Tribus Bloom formula, and those are very similar to Tribus Original, 
uh, with some manipulations to the bacterial concentrations, you know, obviously optimized for growing and uh, the flowering phase. So you can play around with those. You know, we usually recommend people start with Tribus Original and then and then play from there once they get a feel for it. Um, we have a new bacterial product coming out that's really oriented more towards field use and large scale, but we call the product Continuum. It's kind of a uh, continuation of what we've done with Tribus here, so that's coming soon, you know, and people can keep an eye out on it. And we have a couple uh, fertilizers that are organic based and biostimulants, again, containing amino acids. One's called Biofuel. Uh, that's, again, a really good field oriented fertilizer. And we have Lumina, but both of these products, at, you know, I'll say it again, work really well in conjunction with a fertilizer like Jack's, which is actually how we use them for the most part. You know, so we like to supplement with a little of this beneficial biostimulant biology and, and bacterial biology um, into any system where we're running Jack's already. Absolutely. Sounds great. You know, I, I like that. I like things that work in synthesis together. So, uh, well, Mike, it's been really great to have you on. And uh, Dan, as always, you know, until next time, everybody, uh, check us out, leave us a question and a comment, and we'll be sure to follow up with you. And, uh, you know, we'll put links in the in our bios or in the description as well. So that if you want more information, you can find it. All right. Take care, everybody. Have a right great on. week. You guys. Thanks, Mike.